In Excel, most of us learned logical tests using and or logical functions. But in the new age of array formulas, there is a faster, more powerful way to write multi-condition logic. We are going to use the asterisk operator instead of and, and the plus sign operator instead of or. In this video, I will show you how asterisks and plus sign operators can replace the old logic functions of and or inside modern array formulas like filter or sum product. We will compare both methods, and I will show you exactly when each one is better. Let's jump into Excel. The data set. I will use a simple sales data set so you can follow along in practice. We have columns for region, department, representative, product, units, and revenue. I have attached this file in the description of the video so that you can download it to practice. We are going to build three types of formulas. First, the classic if with and, or. Second, array formulas using the new asterisk and plus sign operators replacing and, or. And finally, a few cases where and, or functions are still the best choice. Let's have recap of and, or logical functions. They take multiple conditions and return a single result, either true or false. Let's look at a demonstration of AND function first. For example, I want to get the true when the department is sales, as well as the revenue is greater than 1,000. Since I want to check multiple conditions and all must be true, I will use AND. I will type is equal to. And then, as soon as I start typing AN, Excel suggests AND. I'll press tab. Now let's write our first condition. I'll click on cell B2, then equal to, and let's write sales in quotes since it is text. I'll insert a comma, and the next condition, which is cell F2, is greater than 1000. There is no need to put quotes here because it is a number. I'll close the bracket and press enter. Let's drag it to the end. You can see that it is giving false for the first row because the first condition is met, but the second one is not as the revenue is less than 1,000. But the second result is true, because both conditions are met there. Now let's do the same with OR. Here we want a true result if any of the conditions are true. I will add the formula now. You can see that the first value is true because the department is sales, even though the revenue is not greater than 1,000. It only gives a false result when both conditions are not met. Now let's look at the famous combination where we use these inside an if statement. For example, I have been tasked to calculate a bonus if the employee meets the two criteria we already used. I will use if and then add and. I will write bonus for the true part of the if condition and no bonus for the false part. That is the classic pattern many of us know. But why these fail in modern array formulas? But when we move into modern array formulas like filter, unique, sort, and sum product, this approach starts to break down. Let's try to use AND in a filter formula with the same conditions. When we try this, you will see that AND restricts the result to only one value. We don't want a single true or false. We need one true or false for every single row. And when we press enter, it gives a value error. If you don't understand why this happens yet, don't worry. I'm going to explain the array formula logic with simple, step-by-step -step calculations. So keep watching. Let's understand asterisk and plus operators. In Excel, logical values are secretly also numbers. True is 1, and false is 0. When we compare a range to a value, we get an array of trues and falses. To explain with data, let me create two columns of logical values. I want true where department is sales. Let me give this an explanatory heading. Now I want to get true where the region is east. Now I will explain why we multiply the conditions for and in array formulas. Let's add a multiplication formula and drag it down. Since true holds a value of one and false holds a value of zero, when we multiply them, it only gives a 1 where both are true. 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. But if a 1 is multiplied by a 0, the result is 0. To make this even clearer, let me add another column. We will multiply the logical value by a double dash to convert it to its numeric value.
Here you can see, it converted true to 1 and false to 0. Now I will do the same for the second value using the end function. which does the same thing. These are the numeric values. That is how array formulas pick rows with a 1 and drop rows with a 0 using the asterisk operator. Now let's look at our second operator in the array world, the plus operator, which works like OR. Let me replace the asterisk with the plus sign in the formula. In Excel, 0 is false, and every value greater than 0 is treated as true. This means all 1s and 2s are treated the same way. Now, as we understand the asterisk and plus operators, let's use them in the filter formula. I need records where the department is sales and the region is east. I will first select the whole data range. In the second argument, called include, I will type the first criteria, then the multiplication sign, and then my second criteria. Here's the result that meets both criteria. We could do this with the old AND function inside an IF statement. Let me first add a column. Give it a name and type the formula. You can see it is for each row. Let me drag it. Now, if I use conditional formatting, I can highlight the true condition. Let me do it. Fine. But as you can see, it is much clearer to use one filter formula to get all the matching results at once. Now let's look at OR logic with the plus sign. Suppose we want to get all rows where the department is sales or marketing. I will type filter, select the data range, then the first condition, then the plus sign, and finally the second condition. This is our result. Now we shall use both array operators, the asterisk and the plus sign in a single formula. Let's say we need the region to be either east or west, but we also have to filter for rows where the department is sales and the revenue is greater than 1,500. Let's add the formula. We select the data range, then our first region plus the second region. This part must be grouped together using brackets. Then we add an asterisk for the department condition and another asterisk for the revenue condition. Now we have our desired results. So, should we throw away and or completely? Not at all. These are still excellent when you are checking a few conditions on a single row or when you are inside a regular if statement that returns one value. They are also great for data validation or conditional formatting rules. For example, in the student data, I need to check scholarship eligibility, where a student has 60% marks and shows yes in the pass column. A simple if and formula works perfectly here. We can also use the asterisk operator to get the same result. One final advantage of the array operators is convenience. If I select the full range in my asterisk or plus sign conditions and press enter, the results automatically expand or spill down the column. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to leave a comment with your suggestions. Take care and bye.